Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. Welcome to another edition of Solo Builders. Today I'm gonna to show you a lick in B-Mix Solidium using the B-Mix Solidium Pentatonic and a building uh, B-Dominant ninth arpeggio. Without further ado, let's have a look at the lick. All right guys, let's take a look at the lick. So we're gonna be working in fours around the B mixolydian pentatonic. So I'm gonna start off with this. I've got to pull off from 11 to seven on the first string and then 10 to seven on the second. And I'm gonna to backtrack to the second note I had, which was starting from the B note on seven of the first. I'm gonna play that seven, pull off 10 to seven on the second string and then jump to nine of the third. So thus far we should have this. Then I'm gonna add this in. Let's slow that down. I'm gonna play 10-7 on the second string as a pull off, then 9-8 on the third. At the end of that, I'm gonna pull off 11-9-8 on the third string and jump to nine of the fourth. Now the reason why I'm drifting between having these F sharps in different spots is it's too hard to go. If you end on the pointer finger, that's kind of a difficult change. I just sort of figured that was a, a more sort of fluid way to get to those notes. And we're gonna work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm gonna do a pull off from nine to eight on the third string and then nine, seven on the fourth. Then I jump back to eight of the third and then I pull off nine, seven on the fourth and jump to nine of the fifth. All together. All together from the start now. kind of twist in the middle there, but it does work out in the end. So there's two more groups of four and then we start working into that dominant ninth arpeggio. So what I've got here, I'm playing nine, seven on the fourth and fifth string, then just seven on the fourth. Then I'm gonna pull off nine, seven and slide to six on the fifth string. All together now. All I'm really doing here is playing a D sharp half diminished or minus seven flat five arpeggio. But when you put a B on top of that, it becomes a B dominant nine. So that's a cheeky little trick for superimposing for you guys out there who are into that. And I'm sure you all are, and that is why we're all getting laid so much. Okay, here we go. What I've got at the start of that is the seventh fret of the sixth string. And I'm hammering six, nine on the fifth, seven of the fourth string. At the end of that, I've got a hammer on pull off going six, eight, six on the third, jumping to seven of the fourth. And then I'm jumping back to six of the third. So all together, I do the whole thing again exactly the same up the octave. So now I'm gonna start from the, the next B note from nine of the fourth string. And then I hammer eight to 11 on the second, sorry, eight to 11 on the third. Then 10 of the second string. And I wanna go nine, 11, nine on the first string. Jumping to 10 of the second, back to nine of the first. I do a cheeky slide into 12 there. At the end of that, Nice big B sus too, because why not? I'm playing uh, two of the fifth, four of the fourth, and uh, the six of the third. Who doesn't love a good sus two chord? So I'll go through that ninth arpeggio again, and then we'll add the other part to the front of it, and then we'll do the whole thing even slower with some tabs. Let's try the whole thing nice and slow. Time with some tabs. Out 
And that was my descending B mixolydian fours lick with ascending B dominant ninth arpeggio. Bit of a mouthful, but it was quite delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want to have this lesson or anything else I do, please join up with the Patreon group. We have giveaways, we have courses. I'm gonna get into giving away physical stuff soon. And if you guys haven't heard, ta-da, I have two books out at the moment. My first book, Ultimate Shred Machine is out now if you want to up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping. And my most recent book, Rock Guitar Mode Mastery, is out now if you want to up your understanding of modes for composition and improvisation. And if you're not much of a reader, I do have both courses available on Udemy as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'll catch you all very soon.